My Catholic Faith Lesson 43 Moral Virtues In our everyday life, we are called upon to make countless decisions involving right or wrong. The sight of a church can remind us of the moral virtues, prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance, which dispose us to treat persons and things according to the will of God. Are there any other virtues besides the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity? Besides the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity, there are other virtues called moral virtues. These virtues are called moral virtues because they dispose us to lead moral or good lives by aiding us to treat persons and things in the right way, that is, according to the will of God. Moral virtues are opposed to the capital sins. For example, humility is opposed to pride, liberality is opposed to avarice, chastity is opposed to lust, meekness and patience are opposed to anger, temperance is opposed to gluttony, brotherly love is opposed to envy, and zeal and diligence in what is good are opposed to sloth. Moral virtues differ from theological ones in that their immediate object is not God himself, but the right order of our actions and passions according to reason. Moral virtues are those of the perfect man, supernaturalized in a Christian. The theological virtues are those proper to men whom grace has raised to the status of children of God. The latter are of a higher order, but require the former. Which are the chief moral virtues? The chief moral virtues are prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance. These are called cardinal virtues. All other moral virtues spring from the cardinal virtues. These are called cardinal from cardo, the Latin word for hinge, because all our moral actions turn on them as a door turns upon its hinges. All other moral virtues depend on them. Prudence, justice, fortitude and temperance dispose us to lead good lives, as indicated below. Prudence disposes us, in all circumstances, to form right judgments about what we must do or not do. It teaches us when and how to act in matters relating to our eternal salvation. Prudence perfects the intelligence, which is the power of forming judgments. For this virtue, knowledge and experience are important. Prudence shows us how to leave earthly things in order to earn riches for eternity. It is the eye of the soul, for it tells us what is good and what is evil. It is like a compass that directs our course in life. It is opposed to worldly wisdom. Be prudent, therefore, and watchful in prayers. Prudence is a virtue of the understanding. Justice disposes us to give everyone what belongs to him. It teaches us to give what is due to God and to man. It makes us willing to live according to the commandments. Justice perfects the will and safeguards the rights of man, his right to life, freedom, honour, good name, sanctity of the home, and external possessions. The just man is an upright man. He gives to everyone his due. He gives God worship, the authorities, obedience, his subordinates, rewards and punishments, and his equals, brotherly love. Render to all men whatever is their due, tribute to whom tribute is due, taxes to whom taxes are due, fear to whom fear is due, honour to whom honour is due. Fortitude disposes us to do what is good in spite of any difficulty. It gives us strength to do good and avoid evil in spite of all obstacles and afflictions. We possess fortitude when we are not hindered by ridicule, threats, or persecution from doing what is right, when we are ready, if necessary, to suffer death. 
The greatest fortitude is shown by bearing great suffering rather than undertaking great works. No saint was ever a coward. The martyrs had fortitude. Temperance disposes us to control our desires and to use rightly the things which please our senses. It regulates our judgment and passions so that we may make use of temporal things only in so far as they are necessary for our eternal salvation. We have temperance when we eat and drink only what is necessary to sustain life, preserve health, and fulfill our duties. We should strive to be like St. Francis de Sales, who said, I desire very little, and that little I desire but little. However, Temperance does not consist in refusing or denying ourselves what is necessary, thus unfitting ourselves for good works. Some other moral virtues. Filial piety and patriotism which dispose us to honour, love and respect our parents and our country. It is, however, no virtue but a sin if we are so prejudiced in favour of our parents that we find no good in others, or if we are so patriotic that we see no good in other nations. The division and mutual antagonisms of nations and peoples in which certain ones profess to find themselves as superior can certainly not please God. From them come war and revenge. God is father of all nations and peoples, without exception. Obedience, which disposes us to do the will of our superiors. Obedience consists not only in doing what is commanded by our superior, but in being willing to do what is commanded. One who grumbles and murmurs while doing what his mother asks him to do is not obedient. Obedience is a virtue only when one subjects his will to that of another for God's sake, not for material or natural motives. Christ is the model of obedience, for he obeyed completely and lovingly, even to the death of the cross. Veracity, which disposes us to tell the truth. We should always be truthful as children of God, who is truth itself. Veracity, however, does not require us to reveal secrets or to reply to questions about which the questioner has no right to ask. In cases such as these, we should either remain silent or return an evasive answer. Wherefore, put away lying and speak truth each one with his neighbour, because we are members of one another. Patience, which disposes us to bear up under trials and difficulties. In sickness and ill fortune, in the difficulties of our occupations and our weaknesses, let us have serenity of mind for the love of God. And bear fruit in patience. Be patient in tribulation, persevering in prayer. Besides these, there are many other moral virtues. Religion is the highest moral virtue since it disposes us to offer to God the worship that is due him. Religion is classed under the virtue of justice.